Vanessa, thank you. We'll begin this hour with developing news out of Pembroke Pines this morning. Yeah, Pembroke Pines police are on the scene of a crash involving one of their own officers. CBS 4's Natalia Zay is there live on the scene with much more. And we see it's still very active, Natalia. Yeah, very active out here, Rhiannon. And, and the good news is we have learned that the officer, the Pembroke Pines police officer involved in this car accident is stable, is expected to be okay. Same can be said for the driver of the other vehicle involved. I want to give you a look here. The tow truck is here. Obviously, they've got it on the back of the flatbed, but that is the Pembroke Pines SUV that is all smashed up in the front, hard to see from this vantage point. And this dark colored SUV over here on the right on the back of the other truck appears like it was T-boned. It was actually bowed on the side pretty intensely. There's a lot of debris in the roadway here from this crash. Investigators still piecing together what happened, but they do say that the officer was traveling eastbound on Pines Boulevard and the other driver was traveling southbound on Douglas Road when the two collided. Not clear at this point whose fault this was. If someone, obviously someone ran a red light, but the question is who at this point. But we do understand that both drivers, including that police officer, are expected to be okay. They're both stable and were transported to Memorial Regional Hospital. And we also know that the officer who was involved was on duty at the time. Not clear at this point, though, whether he had his lights and sirens going when this all happened. We're still working together. Those details bring you updates as we get them. Back to you.